What allows you to walk more easily, all while decreasing your risk of falls? Well, the answer is walking aids. But with so many different kinds of walking aids available these days, how do you know which one is the right one for you? If you're curious in knowing the answer to that question, well, stick around because today we're talking about walking aids. Hi, Gators. Come on in, make yourselves at home. Have a seat. Would you like some coffee or some tea? Have some Cheerios. Welcome back, Gators. It's so nice to have you back. For those who don't know me, my name is Cassia and I'm a physiotherapist. Working in geriatric rehab, a decreased mobility is one of the main problems that I see on a daily basis. Having a decreased mobility can cause a person to isolate themselves, stop themselves from doing their daily and leisurely activities, which can then cause them to become more deconditioned, less autonomous, and at a higher risk of falls. But luckily, we live in a day where so many adaptive equipments exist, thus allowing someone to maintain their lifestyle. There is a variety of walking aids that exist. But today, I would like to focus on the three main types of walking aids that I train my patients with on a daily basis. They are the cane, the rollator walker, and the rollator. First of all, if you're walking around the house and you're holding onto the walls, you're holding onto the furniture around you, then this is a huge sign that you may need a walking aid. Other signs that I commonly see in my patients who have a lack of mobility is walking with their feet wide apart from each other, looking down at the floor or at their feet when they're walking, or walking very slowly. If you catch yourself doing some of these things, then a walking aid might be the thing you need to help decrease your risk of falls, increase your confidence and your safety, and your overall autonomy. The cane is great for those who just need a little extra support when they're walking. If you find yourself walking around the house just lightly touching with one hand onto the furniture and the walls around you, then the cane might be the most appropriate walking aid for you. The reason why a cane can help with your mobility is because it enlarges your base of support. So your base of support is normally created between your two feet. But now with the cane, the base of support is actually between the cane and the foot. So as you can see on this image, the space is actually much wider between the cane and the foot than the two feet. So having a wider base equals having more stability. Just for example, if you're building a house of cards, normally we like to start with a very large base at the bottom and then build the cards up just so that there is less chances that the house of cards is going to topple over. Whereas if you're building your house of cards on a very narrow base, then the chances of it toppling over is much higher. This is also why people who have a lack of balance might start walking with their feet wide apart from each other, like I mentioned previously. By walking with their feet wide apart, they're giving themselves a wide base of support so that they can increase their stability when they're walking. Another reason why a cane can help is because it can take up to 25% of your body weight. So every time you take a step without painful or weaker leg, the cane can absorb a portion of your body weight, thus making it easier and less painful for you when you're walking. Now, if you are using a cane, but you're still finding yourself holding onto the furniture with your other hand, or you're still walking with a wide base of support, you're looking down at your feet, and you're walking really cautiously and really slowly, this might mean that the cane is not appropriate for you, and that you need something with a little more support than that. So the next walking aid I want to talk about is the rollator walker. Unlike the standard walker, the rollator walker has two wheels at the front and two skis in the back. This allows you to push the walker and let it glide smoothly across the floor rather than having to pick it up every time you move like the standard walker. The rollator walker will help those who have a decreased balance, a decreased leg strength, back pain or leg pain, decreased coordination, or a lack of overall endurance. The rollator walker is also quite small and slim, so it doesn't take up too much space when you're walking around your home. It can also be easily folded, which is great for storage, and also great if it needs to go into the trunk of a car. So for those who need more support than a cane, but not as much as a rollator walker, the rollator is a really great option. Rollators don't have any skis like the rollator walker does, but it normally has either four wheels or three wheels. So because of the wheels, it can't take up as much pressure as the rollator walker can, because if you put too much weight on it, then it might roll away from you, which is not really safe. But if you don't need to apply so much body weight and you do need support with both hands, then the rollator is awesome. Because of the three wheels or the four wheels, it can easily be used outdoors. 
the wheels can easily glide over different textures like grass and gravel and even cracks and crevices, so you can definitely take it outdoors with you when you go out for your long walks. A very helpful part of the rollator is the seat that comes with it. So if you're a person who has an overall lack of endurance and you need to take frequent breaks, then the rollator is a great option because you can take a break anywhere and anytime you need. All you need to do is apply the brakes onto the rollator and then have a seat. An extra bonus that comes with the rollator is the little storage basket that comes with it. So like that, if you're taking long walks, you can bring all of your essentials with you. Of course, I always recommend being seen by a healthcare professional before making the decision to buy a walking aid for yourself. A physiotherapist can assess you and determine which walking aid is more suitable for your needs. They will also adjust it to your height to make sure that you're not hurting yourself when you're using it, and they're also going to teach you how to use it correctly. I do hope that you found this video helpful and interesting. If you have any comments or questions, please type it in the comments down below. Also check out my new Facebook page so that you can have the opportunity to connect with me and other seniors. I post a brand new video every single Monday, so please don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss a video. And to show me some love and support, please click on that little thumbs up button. Thanks so much for watching and see you later, alligator.